Learn along with me. Hey guys, my name is Ritu Sachdev. In this tutorial, I am gonna show you how you can add a JavaScript file in your WordPress website. We will write some function using functions.php. This is my 2012 child theme which I have created in my earlier tutorial. You can see here is my channel. In the playlist tab, you will find this playlist WordPress behind the scene customizing WordPress. So I have told you about child themes and I have told you about creating the page templates, told you about loop basics. Now we will see some basics of functions.php and we will add a JavaScript file using functions.php. Basically functions.php is used for registering all of the functionality of your website. Like you can see we have this widget area sidebar or this navigation bar or whatever the functionality of your website is there. The credit goes to functions.php. Now let's have a look at functions.php already existing in our parent theme. So here is my code editor sublime text editor. This is my theme folder. Here is 2012 parent theme. Here we have functions.php. You can see I have opening PHP tag and this is some comment section. It is not compulsion to have this comment here but once if you wish you can have it. When I scroll down you can see I have some functions here. Some functions related to font URL or registering the styles. See this registering the sidebars, widget area and so on. I am not going in very deep about all these functions written here. But just we will add up a JavaScript file in our website using functions.php. Let's close it. Let's create our own functions.php in our child theme. Let's create our new file. Save it up with the name of functions.php. Save it up in a child theme folder. So this is my themes folder. Here is my 2012 child theme. Let's save it up here. So here you can see in my 2012 child. Now I have functions.php. So first thing first, let's have our opening PHP tag. This is opening of PHP. Generally we close it with our greater than symbol but here it is not necessary to close this PHP tag just opening of PHP and we will start our writing our function so function twenty twelve underscore child underscore scripts. This is a name of function. It's a nice idea to write it in this order so that anybody comes to your website can easily know this is the functions in the child theme. Now this opening closing round bracket and this now opening of curly brackets. Now let's hit enter. Now let's enqueue our script. Enqueuing script means adding up this script. So let's enqueue this script using our WordPress function. So wp underscore wp enqueue underscore script now extjs this could be the name of plugin you are using or the file you are going to link up this is not important but still 
you should have this name here now let's have comma now we want to attach our javascript file so the function used to include a local file in wordpress is get style sheet directory underscore uri if you want to read about this function in more detail you can go to wordpress.org and here you can type include a local include a local file in php see here you can click on it and read more about it see here you can read if you want to include a local file in php use get style sheet directory instead of get template directory uri so we are using this same function here get style sheet directory uri now we will have the name of our file which we want to include so after this we will have this dot here then this slash then obviously we need to create some javascript file which we are going to write here so before adding this javascript file here let me create this external javascript file so here is my local folder you can see wp content themes 2012 child so let me have new folder here let me name it js so i will be using including all the javascript file here so now you can see we have our js folder which we have created recently now let's create our new file let's save it up with the name of ext.js in our js folder so let's open it and let's save it up see we have our ext.js in js folder now let's write some function inside it the function i'm going to write is just an alert welcome to this page let's save it up now let's again go to our functions.php so here now we can say after the slash inside js folder go to our ext.js It should be in this quotation mark so let's have quotation mark here and let's have our semicolon let's save it up and let's see whether this alert pops up while opening up this page so here is my web page so let's refresh it see there is no alert because this is just what we have written our function we need to run this script we need to add a hook for it so to add the hook or to add the action let's have something on the line number eight see add action this is just we have registered our dot js file now let's add it this function now wp wp nqe script now notice guys here i'm going to write wp nqe underscore script here we need to have s here here we do not have s but this line adding up the action required scripts 
now this 2012 child scripts here we go now let's have our semi column let's save it up and let's refresh our web page see the alert pops up now so this is what we have added our javascript file to this document welcome to this page now if you will right click and view the page source you can easily see this is what we have added up here http localhost theme 2012 wp content themes 2012 child js then inside js ext.js is there when i click alert welcome to this page so this is how you can add javascript file to your wordpress website this javascript can be anything this can be your plugin or any other javascript so this is done friends and if you like this video of mine do thumbs it up do not forget to subscribe me and if you want to learn these subjects directly from me do contact me have a good day bye bye